mean, I'm already been on my own thing, but like I said, I just that definitely just you know yeah. that jealousy just got to me. You know what I'm saying? It never did before. Baby, you know I don't pull out when we love it. Touch it, kiss it, and lick it. No one's even your pennies or something now. In my car, in my crib, I'm shining with this gold grill. I can't give a what how you feel. That booty and them tatas on the rim. I take a bite of my blood, my hood. What's up, Imogen Empire? Empire? Welcome back. It's your favorite high school sweetheart, yes. Genesia here. Boy, savvy here. And Bryson. Bryson made appearance. You guys have been asking about Bryson and he just wanted to be in this video. So say hi Bryson. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for that kiss. In today's video is a life update video. I uh, explain to you guys pretty much uh, where we are in our relationship at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, but before we get into this video, what I need you guys to do is still show your love and support. Mm -hmm. Subscribe. Yes, if you want uh, part of the MG Empire. Mm -hmm. uh, hit the notification bell and, you know. You Leave know. a comment down below. You know, how long, if you're in a relationship, how long have you and your significant other been in a relationship? And this, thing, yeah, you comment the common fights. Yeah. You know, the common stuff. The couples argue about. Yeah. What, what it doesn't it, matter. Yeah. Boy, boy, girl, girl, or girl, and 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 boy relationship. Just mm -hmm. just comment. I'm quite sure it's, you can relate to a lot of people. Yeah. Um. Like even, what is the most common thing that you and your significant other typically argue, argue about? about? Yeah. And before Manny touches on like what's been happening, we're ordinary couples. Like couples go through things and yeah we've been together for 14 years and we've been on the internet for a very long time I know I have and we never display our private life on the internet we always been very private people but I feel like some cer cer certain situations as we de dive in more into the social media world some of you guys are going to notice certain things and you know we just want to express that to you that we are real people and we go through real stuff just like every other person you know we look up to someone so much like oh they don't they're just perfect and we try to show you guys we're not perfect uh like i said well it was a quote mm -hmm. i believe about tupac uh i'd rather be a real model than a role model you dig what i'm saying yeah so it's it's really that simple um like I said, just trying to be as, be as real as possible. Like I said, everybody go do something. Yeah. Nothing new. Nothing new. Like I said, I've been informed um, throughout the comments because, like I said, since the situation, yes. I mean, I'm already been on my own thing, but like I said, I just that definitely just you know needed like a little time apart, which is always yeah. good and healthy, you know, yeah. just to reflect on your life. So uh, I didn't post anything obviously on social media for a minute. Um, until just yesterday, actually. So, with that being said, like I said, I just been doing my own thing, focus on my thing, trying to just rethink. Now, am I mad about the situation? Yeah, I mean, who wouldn't? What guy or female wouldn't be mad, right? Mm -hmm. So, I'm guilty of that. I talk. Yeah, and a and, lot of you guys were voicing that. Why didn't you guys just talk? I mean, we don't live, technically live together. Manny stays here on the time where he doesn't have training in football because he has other obligations. But during that time he does have training in football, he's at his uh, parents' house, which is not that far from here, which is great because, you know, if anything happens with Caden, he's always nearby. But during those times where he is training, he isn't here. So don't think that, like, we're physically in a home 24-7 together because we're not. We're grinding and making that happen to make those steps to having our own place and we're on the process of doing that so just letting you guys know for those who don't know because obviously we don't tell you guys everything this is like i said one of the things i was um just concerned about i trust her uh, like i said even though as i mentioned in the video about this whole only fans like I said, I, 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 I kind of figured, okay, eventually you have to engage with your audience. Mm -hmm. 
with the content you put out. Uh, like I said, she told me the content she's gonna put out, and obviously you guys, mm -hmm. with the content she's gonna put out. And which let's clear the air, bikinis, you know that type of picture stuff that you would see on Instagram, and people be like, why not create OnlyFans if you're putting this out here, someone can pay to see that, which is true, you know you're putting something on a free site that's your you feel like you're worth something you should get paid for it you know you're already putting it for free so why not so, it's no different than what i'm putting on instagram so that was that and like i said i i, I kind of figure but like i guess i do trust but i guess i am i mean because also all she was doing just communicating back just looking at the message it wasn't really i'm not trying to yeah come at her aid and you know her defense the defense and just oh no I mean, you, you know, have every push it right. to the side, but it was just like I said, just looking at it, it was just okay. You know, just showing appreciation that, you know, they like the content, things of that sort. So, yeah. um, I pretty much was a little, bu you know, bugging. It happens. It definitely happens. Um, yeah. like I mean, I said, you have every right to. And like, men see their woman as like a certain type of woman they should be and carry themselves so it's like when he thought or is feeling like you know that's being tarnished like he he felt some type of way you know or like because it's different from instagram when she used to post a bikini pic mm -hmm. then you see obviously the comments the comments it's the same thing on you know on our facebook these old <laughs> old guys it's just like man you know, like who is these people like these old perverts i was like okay but yeah. it's the same it's the same thing with that and then just to see her on a different website which is you know which we know only fans are you know typically used for yeah and you know me seeing her responding it's like you know who is she texting like you mm -hmm. know what i mean yeah. Like who she texting, trying to figure out, okay, like, cause you know it got her, it got her attention, and trying to figure out, okay, is it something else going on, this and that, and another. Yeah, and then so like I said, I mean, like I mean, I told you, if I had my OnlyFans, she would definitely be in charge, like, cause I, I personally know me, mm -hmm. and like I said, us having a relationship, we established uh, me not having girlfriends. Mm -hmm. Well, Cause, girls as friends. Yeah, Let's girls just say as that. Friends. <laughs> we don't have an open relationship. Um, but girls as friends. Unless they her friends, it's like. Yeah. You know, I know me. She know me. We agree. No, you can't do that. Yeah. Because I know how I react. Because you're not gonna be my friend. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. Exactly. So unless if you don't find that person attractive. That's I mean, different, yeah, that's you know, because we have, you have those type of friends, like, you know, we had office friends and office settings where, you know, Manny could be left alone with someone, not saying that I'm judging them, like, pretense, like, I just know Manny's type, so I would, I know I would be comfortable with, like, a person that's not his type to be his friend, and, you know, they can hang out on that level. I'm being honest and open. Yeah. Uh, at the, at the early stage of the relationship. Yeah. Saying, nah, I can't, like, that's why I was kind of a little hurt, because we tell each other everything so yeah. that's what i'm saying like everything with i'm telling her that i know how i am and she knew how i am before we got together because we was friends before we got together yeah it just shows you know what i'm saying um because i was still mingling doing my thing while still flirting with her when she was my friend so it's just it's just you know what i mean man shows you their true colors before dating you just letting you know so if he was acting like this with me and having friends and being flirty, nine out of ten, he's gonna do that when you guys are in a relationship. So establish boundaries. That's all I'm saying. Like I said, I trust her with her her friends, mm -hmm. and, and throughout the years that we've been together, it showed. Yeah. It definitely showed. Um, you know, people hit on her, she ignore it. Mm -hmm. She tell them, I have a dude. Yeah. So. That's why I personally don't go out to the club. Yeah, you're not really a club guy. <laughs> or any of that. Yeah. So it's like I said, I, I know me. And mm -hmm. like I said, I just want to be on my best behavior. So yeah. we established that. And like I said, if she doesn't have already had a girlfriend and she bring around, you know, 
that I'm cool, you know, that she's cool with, then I eventually be like, yo, no, what's up, sis? That's you know, mm -hmm. that type of friendship. Yeah. But me having my own personal, nah, that's not gonna work for me. So that's not gonna work for her. Mm -hmm. Definitely not gonna work for me. So that jealousy just got to me. You know what I'm saying? It never did before. Do you say like it has to do like weight loss and like my newfound confidence and stuff? No. Oh, okay. Signature. No. Um, Cause you, like I said, I, you was beautiful back then. You beautiful now. Mm -hmm. So it was just like it wasn't. That, it's just like I don't know. It just that jealousy bug just crept up on me, and I was just like, man, you know. So I was a little distraught about it. So, like I said, guys, I mean, she been telling me about the comments. They like, don't attack her. Like I said, the comp like. I mean, it's not getting. I mean, that's what we signed up for, and everyone has their own opinion when you're telling someone a part of your life. But yeah, I felt like yeah. I was being more attacked than normal than when a similar situation happened with Manny and a lot of you guys were more you guys were mad with Manny but you guys had hope and optimism with our relationship like you guys wanted us to fight for it but what I was seeing more was like oh just like cut her off like she finds it funny and in certain situations just like Manny like I could be having a serious talk with him and he's like smiling and laughing in my face I'm like stop laughing stop yeah, smiling you've person. seen that in pranks like Manny um, was smiling um, in my face and it would piss me off I do the same thing too with Manny in awkward situations like when I see him really mad like really mad and it's rare when I see him like that I start to smile because I'm trying to like joke off the situation and liven the mood when I needed someone to talk to but she wasn't there because she was going through her own issues mm -hmm. and I had someone to talk to yeah like I said I definitely deserve the same treatment that she's getting is what I'm saying. As far as her, her treatment is not, it's not the same because, yes, she she was just responding back to, you know, her audience, saying thank you, mm -hmm. um, you know, just appreciate, you know, appreciating uh, the compliment, but not taking it a step further. Like I said, it was just honestly, I just think it was just that, like I said, it was a jealousy bug that just finally, yeah, finally got to me. And but I still have to take accountability like you know the OnlyFans is created and I have to take some type of accountability on the situation and why it transpired so yes I am still like claiming what I did was wrong because I know how my man is you know it's not nothing new to me we're not newly dating so it was wrong of me to do that without even like asking him first and you know oh, yeah, we're that's not perfect one. that's another thing she remember she did not ask me she yeah did, she did a prank it which made him even more mad because already that happened. yeah done but mm -hmm. she was trying to sell me on it yeah and then told me so it was like okay that's a little shady but then you know it, it built it built up mm -hmm. so that's why i met that jealousy bug just crept in on me and it's like now you're talking to people yeah you know you're not telling me anything that this person said you know like how you would tell me comments you know, you know, positive things people would say to us yeah. about me on YouTube. You're not telling me anything, and I'm just like, what's going on? So I also want to apologize to all the people out there that felt like I attacked them. I don't know if you're still watching or not subscribed anymore, but you know, hurt people, hurt people, and it was, it's not one of them things that I normally typically do. But it's just I was just trying to defend myself because yes, what I did was wrong, but I feel like it was just blowing out of proportion to this bigger thing where it wasn't even that big so I apologize for the comments of like me responding back to make it seem like I was attacking them and then they were saying like they were just confused on like what was happening because like we posted these videos but then we we're posting other videos after what was transpired but you gotta understand that they were pre-recorded so Manny wasn't here for like four days and I was still posting videos because we filmed so many videos at one time so we still have content to share with you guys so we're not going back into like how we were before where we weren't posting you know that's something we were trying to not do anymore we're good that we alright yeah um, are we good babe? we alright go ahead hold me they were like oh my god Manny didn't touch her they're not good he hugged she's always hugging him but he doesn't hug her for 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 your boy uh, King Savage, man, just relax on a on a 
all the negative comments. I mean, look, you can say whatever you want to say uh, about me. Hey, but just to her, I mean, this is Jen here, the person who kind of, who actually started this since the beginning of YouTube, you know. Yeah. So it just when YouTube first started. Yeah, it just give her some slack. You know what I mean? This is her energy. This is the same energy you guys had since day one. And they actually, haven't changed her since Actually, shot. a little bit. Like she was a little shy, but it built up after the after two weeks or so, and it, it sh she showed her true personality. So, I mean, I take all the flack, pretty much, is what I'm saying. So, it don't bother me, as you guys can see. Um, I'm still out here doing me. So, I, like I said, I'd rather take all the flack. So, continue on sending your love and positivity towards her way. They can send love to you, too. I mean, I already got my, my savvy view. You know, my Savage Squad. Savage Squad. You know, out here representing. So, as though I change, if you don't see the change, it's, it's, it is what it is. I'm talking more. Doing everything that you guys have requested that you you know I'm taking I'm taking the uh, the critiques the critiques, criticism yeah, the critiques and all that like I told you I'm an athlete I love the critiques to help me get better it's that simple you tell me this and that and other I'm gonna do my best now far as me being all dramatic yeah that's not many that would be a definitely 180 and be like, oh, you're definitely put on a front. You know like, what I'm saying? Then that, you then you'll you know, can see like, effort okay. and enthusiasm, you, you, but... You'll be like, you're doing too much. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's the same comments I see sometimes. Yeah, because, yeah, sometimes I do be... Her, yeah. And yeah, she does. I am extra. That's and sometimes like. I do a little bit extra than my extraness. And Manny, like, tells me to chill. Like, you know, you're doing too much. And I'm like, okay, sorry. So I apologize. I don't meet your expectation. It is what it is. Mm. Hopefully, you know, because I didn't meet your expectation, you still like, you know, Jen here. Yeah. And, and so. some people say I changed, but I feel like I am still the same. You know, I don't feel like I changed at all. It's probably, it, it's honestly probably because, like I said, we haven't filmed in over a year. Yeah. So. And, and then now. when we're filming all these videos, you know, I feel like. There's times where I feel exa mentally exhausted, but I'm trying to provide content, so I feel like I'm being a little bit more extra than usual. That's the only explanation explanation I can give, because we've been grinding so hard for you guys and for our family, because you know we want to be in a better situation and give you guys better content, because we're in a better situation, you know. So, yeah. I'm trying to give you the best content within this quarantine. Yeah, because uh, we can't really do much where we are. Yeah, we really can't, and then. We don't want to step out because of this this whole situation. Yeah. I'm out here, you know, I'm taking a chance out here while she's literally been in house quarantine. Yeah. And I told you guys before, my mom is not really able to see her grand her first grandbaby mm -hmm. like that. You know what I mean? Um, but Or not even that, like yeah, that's a big deal, but like us being parents and wanting to do like museums and park visits and theme parks like we, it's like robbed from us because of the situation we're in like that's what i was dreaming of doing once he turned one now that he's one and he's able to do all these things and walk run play grab interact we can even go out and do those things because i'm like like i'm not saying i'm living in fear it's just being cautious like it's not even living in fear i mean as you guys know uh you seen the post? Uh, did you write on the post? Yeah, I wrote a post. Mm -hmm. This is how serious it is. Yeah. Um, our and uncle, RIP to him. But yeah, it's uh, it's just stuff like that. So, um, but I, I'm not trying. We're not trying to ramble on too much because yeah. we're getting off topic here. Thank you guys for watching. We love you guys. Thanks for your continued support for those who've been rocking with us and staying loyal. For those who unsubscribe, I'm sorry that you guys had to unsubscribe because. You know, either you were depressed and it was too much drama or, you know, we were just confusing you what was going on. I'm sorry. We just wanted to express to you guys, it's not sort of you guys being our counselors. It's just me viewing you guys as family and friends and something happening with us we want to share with you guys, you know. Why, you know, that's just how I see it. Something terrible happened in our lives we want to share with you guys, right? Because... Some people out there could relate. So that's my apology. 
we can't wait to see you guys in our next video and have more upbeat awesome content yeah we'll see you guys in the next one bye